Okay, so this is the second video, and we are now looking at short this path. Now this, there's algorithms that we can teach you about this, so you can learn how to do it, blah, 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 blah. But if I'm saying I want to find the shortest path between node 6 to node 1, then you can use an algorithm or you can just go through and work out all the different paths. So I could go 6 to 4 to 5 to 1 and that would give me a direct route. Or I could go 6 to 4 to 3 to 2 to 1. Or I could have gone 6 to 4 to 5 to 2. To one, or I could have gone six to four to three to five, so three to two to five to one, and each one of those is going to have a new distance attached to it. So if I work out the distances, right, there's the four, and then if I go to uh, between four and five, that's eight, and then I go from five to one, that's Five. So in total, I've got a distance there of 17. Now if I go four, 6 to 4 is 4, six, uh, 4 to 3 is 2, 5 to 2 is 5, and 2 to 1 is 6, 11, 15, 17. So I've got two routes that have got a distance of 17. That's okay. Let's see if there's a shorter one. So 6 to 4, which is 4. 4 to 5, which was 8. 5 to 2, which is 2. 2 to 6, which is... Sorry, 2 to 1, which is 6. So that gives me 20. So that isn't actually shorter. And now let's try my last one. So I've got 4... And then two, and then five, and then two, and then five, which gives me a total of 10, 18. So actually, I've got two shortest paths. I could go six to four, four to five, five to one. So let me just get my highlighter and show that particular route. So if I go the green route, it has a total distance of 17, whereas if I go the purple route, 6 to 4, 4 to 3, 3 to 2, 2 to 1, that also has a distance of 17. Now it's going to be highly unlikely you're going to find two that are the same, but it's possible. However, that's what you've got to do. So you've got to find all the routes through the network that get you from your place to where you're getting to. And then you need to add up the path that you travel along to work out the shortest path. Okay, so that's my second skill. So that's skill number two. So I've done skill number one, traversability. Is it possible to get all the way around, kept traveling on every arc and getting to a finish point or start point or... Is it possible to start and finish at the same place? And that's all about the whether the nodes are odd or even. This one is all about working out all the possible routes and then adding up their distance. Okay, so see you next time when we talk about minimum spanning tree.